shall reflect on the life of Saint Hilarion the Great, born of pagan parents near Gaza in Palestine. Hilarion had his schooling at Alexandria, Egypt, before converting to Christianity. At the age of 15, having heard about Saint Anthony the Great, father of anchorites, he spent two months in the desert under his personal guidance, imbibing his life of penance and contemplation. On his return to Palestine, noting that both his parents had died, he divided his fortune among the poor before retiring to the desert of Majuma near Gaza, where living in abject poverty, he devoted himself to the austere life of an anchorite. For his upkeep, he wove baskets and grew his own vegetables. He permitted himself just one frugal meal a day, after sunset, consisting of a small piece of bread and some herbs or vegetables. God granted Hilarion the ability to perform supernatural cures and to exorcise possessed persons. His guidance came to be in such demand that with curious pilgrims arriving by the droves, he found it difficult to make time for personal prayer. Nevertheless, many heathens were converted to the faith and the group of disciples grew considerably. At the age of 69, Hilarion first returned to Egypt and revisited the places associated with Saint Anthony who had died five years earlier. He managed to escape the Julian persecution by retiring into the Libyan desert. The danger having passed, he crossed over to Sicily where he lived as a hermit until he was discovered by one of his former disciples. Then, in a renewed search for solitude and to avoid the adulation of would-be followers, he journeyed to Dalmatia and then to Cyprus where he died in a lonely cave aged 80. Saint Hilarion, whose biography was written by Saint Jerome, was the first non-martyr to be officially honored in the Eastern churches as confessor, just as Saint Martin of Tours was the first in the West.